Levi Frags. If that's even your real name, dude. But your last name isn't Frags. Imagine having a name? last name Frags. Frags. Can you imagine being named Levi Frags in someone's Twitch chat? Jeez. You know whose last name was Frags? Genghis Khan. Think about how Genghis many Frags Khan he Frags. got. <laughs> <laughs> Genghis Khan should have had a Twitch, bro. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Devin, and thank you for 35,000 subs, which is absolutely crazy. And in this small amount of time, somehow, my channel has grown to 35,000 subs. And that's all because of you guys that are watching my videos, and I'm happy you're enjoying my content. So today I decided, hey, I'm going to do a q and I made a community post, and now I'm going to answer your god-awful questions. Some are pretty good, but some are pretty bad. But besides that, though, on a, on a serious note, I, I really appreciate you guys. Thank you for making this possible and helping me out and supporting me and in watching my videos. That's the main thing is I'm happy you guys enjoy my content. I'm happy you're watching it and I just really appreciate it guys. But anyways, let's get on to the questions. Hold on really quick. I just want to say this. If we were to militarize everybody that subscribed to me, we could probably take over the small country of Monaco. That's all I'm going to say. We could also probably take over Liechtenstein because they both have populations of 35,000. So, I'm, hey, I'm just saying. My Twitch mod was talking about it. If we militarized, you know, we could. We could. Possibly. Hypothetically. Anyways, I digress. Let's get on to the questions. All right. So, first question. It comes from Layla Da Silva. Do you think Wendy's 444 is a good deal? Well, let's investigate. So, the 444 deal. What do you get? You get a fry. You get chicken nuggets. And you get a fucking burger, chicken sandwich, spicy chicken sandwich, whatever you want. Honestly, also, forgot to add the drink. You get a fucking drink. This seems like a great deal, honestly. Like, it feels like the customer here is really winning, okay? In conclusion, yes, the Wendy's 4 for 4 is a good deal. All right, so the next question is from my friend, Caleb. He said, how does it feel to have this growth set out in front of you? How do you want to evolve and what are you doing or something? Well, with this growth... One of my original things I really wanted to do was I really wanted to uh, do a charity stream one day. So with the growth I have, I'm really excited because one day I might actually be able to do that and raise a decent amount of money for a charity of my choice, you know. I want to evolve into making content more so based around my personality than just Valorant. But for now, I'm happy with where I'm at. So the next question is from Philip is Bully. How many meals could you have bought instead of skins? Too many. Way too many, okay? All right, next question. The next question comes from someone whose name I do not want to pronounce because I will butcher the fuck out of it. But anyways, he asked, since when have you been playing video games and when did you start Valorant? Was it in beta or after beta? I started playing Valorant in beta. I was really excited. It looked fun. I was playing a lot of League at the time. But since I started playing games, it was actually on a PS2, I think. I started playing Battlefront. And then from there, I started uh, playing on my grandma's computer. I was playing Toontown and that shit was so fun. And then I transitioned from Toontown to Minecraft and you know as it continues yeah next question all right so the next question comes from darren q i think i said that right maybe not maybe who knows but anyways he said who's your inspiration for youtube and what's your goal at the end of the year um my inspiration well my inspiration for youtube was partially uber danger and since i was a little kid i always wanted to make video and as for my goal at the end of the year i think my goal is to hit 100k this year that'd be pretty cool that'd be pretty epic i think that that's my goal yeah that's it next question all right next question comes from roy leo he said how did you get into video games and also are you shocked at the rapid growth of your channel and finally do you have a prediction as to when you might hit 100k so for the first part of the question how did i get into video games it actually started with my dad because when i was really really little he would always play call of duty and you know i was like video games are cool and one day i got a ps2 i think for like my birthday or something and i went i was really into star wars as a kid i you know i played with language and shit so i was like hey i want a star wars game i got battlefront 2 i played that shit all day every single day and for the next part of the question are you shocked by the rapid growth of your channel yes yes i am it's weird it's crazy when i first started my channel my goal was to hit 100 subs in five months and by five months we were at like 20k and i was like what the fuck what the actual fuck so it's insane. I still don't understand what's going on, why people are subscribing to me, but it's happening shit. And finally, for the final part of the question, my the prediction for when I might hit 100k. Uh, honestly, I feel like I'll hit 100k by the end of the year, maybe something like that. Next question. This one comes from Agent Gumley. Do you think Gumley is quite nuts? Yes, Gumley is fucking insane. 
Next question. All right, so the next question comes from Jay Destro. He says, is your channel Valorant only or will we see other games in the future? Well, basically my plan is once we hit 100K, I feel like I have the freedom to do whatever I want. I'm not planning on only being Valorant. I'm gonna do whatever I want. I just like making funny videos and you guys seem to like them. So expect variety content in the future. That's basically it. Next question. I'm you underscore says a tutorial on how to say that's tough. Just say that's tough. There you go. It's as simple as that. Shit. Next question. All right. The next question comes from another person whose name I will most likely butcher. And he asks, what inspired you to make the Road to Diamond series? Smiley face. Oh, that's so sweet. The smiley face is so sweet. But anyways, uh, my inspiration for it was I actually, I was like, you know, I was thinking back to my childhood. Right? When I was, I was playing this game called Wizard 1-1 like a lot. And there's this guy who I watched a lot who made this Road to Warlord series, which was like this rank in the game that was really high. And it was really entertaining. I was like, what if I do that for Valorant? But I'm actually silver. So I did it and it, that's it. That was my inspiration. Next question. All right, so the next question comes from Joe Nuts. And he asks, what was the most memorable comp Q match you've been in? Well, actually, I have the answer to this one. It was in one of my videos, the silver experience. And it was this guy who had a perfect Yoda voice. It was amazing. I will never forget that man. It was great. If you want to see what the game was like, go check out the video. But anyways, next question. All right. The next question comes from Illy Vago Weinstein. Fuck, I butchered your name. How did you make the intro with Swens? Um, Basically, Swens, I was like, hey, Swens, let's make a little song for the intro and I'll animate it. He sang, and while he was recording the singing, I went into After Effects and animated the little intro that, that we have. And that's it. It took me about two hours, and then and there it is. Now it's the intro, and that's it. Next question. All right, the next question, I like this question, is from Rematch. And he says, would you rather focus your time in posting on YouTube videos consistently or streaming consistently? I actually want to do both at some point. You know, right now I'm really feeling YouTube. I like posting. I like making the content. But at some point, I'll probably daily stream on Twitch. It'd be fun. By the way, twitch.tv slash Devin I am. Shameless self plug. It's in the description. All right, so the next question comes from Exo. What do you think your job will be if you lose YouTube and Twitch? Well... I'm not sure, man. I have no idea. I'd probably try to be something that I enjoy, but I, I liked quantum physics. I was going to try to go to college for that, but shit, I have no idea what my job would be. All right. Next question comes from Oz Barhen, and he says, what are your plans for this channel in the future? I actually plan on making it more based around my personality, variety content. I'll be streaming a lot, you know, playing with, making a lot more friends, playing with friends, recording, making funny videos that I enjoy watching myself. It's my plans. I, I'm not going to be Valorant specific, but I'm definitely going to be more so variety. All right. So the next question comes from a man whose name I will fully fucking butcher. Muhammad Hillman MCR Siahiran. There you go. I butchered your name. Do you like it? Comment if you enjoyed it, Mr. Muhammad. And he asks, how do you divide your time from YouTube and personal life? Because you're quite young. I'm amazed, to be honest. Well, honestly, I, I just try to keep a balance, like keeping my relationships with my friends, my family, my girlfriend as healthy as I can while trying my best to post consistently and stream. Yeah, that, that's about it. Next question comes from Prey. How to get start in YouTubing? Well, for me, I posted it on TikTok and that was the whole reason my channel started doing good because people came to my channel and then it started hitting the algorithm. So my tips for starting it would be to be consistent, post as much as you can, post content you would enjoy, and also post clips of your content on TikTok because that's what made my channel do good. Next question comes from Suprotum Nandy. Tell us about your first YouTube journey. Um, actually, like a long, long time ago when I was a little kid, I made these Minecraft videos that are completely awful i used easy vid and it, it, it's bad i'll show them one day i showed them on stream actually one day so for my channel it was about seven eight months ago i started streaming on twitch and i was streaming minecraft with a couple friends from school right and i took the vods and i was like all right i'm gonna learn to edit so i started editing and i made this minecraft series which is still on my channel called And I called it the Cramp series. And basically, we were just playing. There was civil wars and shit. It was fun. And I learned how to edit based on that series. And then I started playing Valorant. And it, that was my first YouTube journey. This next question is, can you pronounce my name without choking? Dimitris. Dimitrehe. Dimitris. Fuck me. I don't know. I don't know. I can't do it. Next question comes from Diane. And they say, do you play other games? If yes, what games are they? Or what type of games do you like to play? Oh. 
Well, other games I play right now, I'm actually playing Borderlands 3 again, playing through it. You know, I made a little Amara build. I like playing Borderlands 3. I really want to play Overwatch again. I like CSGO. I haven't been playing it that much, and I fucking love Peggle. Yeah, that's about it right now. Next question is from Aiden Pollard. Are you full-time with YouTube, or do you have a day job? I am full-time with YouTube. I'm putting as much work into it as I can at this moment. Yes. Yes, that's about it. Next question. Logan Husband says, did you expect to blow up? No. No, I, I did not. I really did not. I, I just thought I was going to get 100 subs in five months. It was weird. It was crazy. It's still crazy to me. I still don't understand it. Green Gupta says, why don't you stream on YouTube? Twitch is a lot better for financial support than YouTube is. It's also nice because I have another platform to have backup on, you know, instead of just all YouTube. Next question is from Slam. How you meet Swens? I rated him on Twitch. That's it. That's it. The next question is from Rumbrov. What is your goal in life outside of YouTube? Um, that's a that's a deep fucking question, Rum. Um, uh, my goal in life is to help people be happy, have the people around me happy, just live a good life, you know, enjoy it. Outside of YouTube, I just want to end up being happy. It's my goal. Tridla boys said, "How old are you?" I'm 18, man. All right. Next question comes from Gus. Gus asked, "What do you see happening to your channel in 2020?" I think he meant 2021. And do you have any series ideas you can link? Okay. I feel like my channel will do a lot better and keep growing in 2021. I, my goal is to hit 100k in 2021. And for series ideas, I'm not sure if I'll be doing a lot of series content, right? But one idea I have is just seeing how high rank I can get with only using the Bucky or shotguns or something. That'd be fun. I don't want to do serious grinded, but maybe, maybe some serious content will come. Next question comes from Omer. He says, how long have you been doing YouTube? Uh, about eight months now. It's about it. I think eight, maybe seven, somewhere around there. Yeah, that's it. The next question comes from Dashing MC. Why Swen's trapped in a shed? What do you want from him? Nothing. It's all allegations. That's it. Why is Swen so primitive? Honestly, this just sums it up. Go back! I want to be monkey! And that's about all the questions I'm gonna do for this little q and I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, smash like. If you're not subbed and you're watching this, I'm a little bit surprised. But hey, why not sub? Anyways, guys, thank you so much for 35k. I'm gonna keep making the videos. I'm gonna keep posting my content and streaming and everything. Also, the day that this is uploaded, I'll be streaming on Twitch at twitch.tv slash devinim. The link's in the description. Go check it out. But anyways, guys, I hope you have an amazing night, an amazing day, whatever time it is for you. Peace.